This conference will now be recorded. Very good evening, students. We are discussing alternating current. So today we will be discussing about power in alternating circuit, like how the power is dissipated in the circuit. Then we will see what is wattless current and we will learn about choke coil. It is actually used in case of tube light and etc. Where current has to be abstracted or current should be low in the circuit. In those places choke coil is being used. We will see what are the like what is the construction and what is the working principle, etc. We'll be learning about choke coil and possible applications. And therefore, thereafter we'll be uh, discussing few numerical problems today. And probably in the next class, we'll be discussing about transformer. Okay, so let us start today's discussion. So what is power in AC circuit we want to mean here? We want to mean the rate at which the rate at which electrical energy is consumed. in an electrical circuit. is called its power. Its power. Okay, so actually we'll be discussing two, ty uh, two types of power here because as you know, we have instantaneous current and the average current, etc. for the amplitude of the current. So in the AC circuit, we define instantaneous power. First, let us see what is this instantaneous power. What is instantaneous power? It is the product of instantaneous current and instantaneous voltage. Okay. It is the product of an instantaneous current. Okay. See, suppose we have seen in, in case of LCS circuit, we'll just look for LCS circuit. In case of LCR circuit, LCR circuit. What was the current voltage relationship if the 
instantaneous voltage supplied from this AC source is V0 sin omega t. Then we have seen the current was I is equal to I0 sin of omega t minus phi. There is a phi phase difference. Okay. In general, see phi can be even found out see where phi is then phi is equal to xc minus xl divided by r this is what we have learned in case of sc right all right so we are just going to define or we are just going to calculate what is instantaneous power in ac circuit <clears throat> okay so here we can say see here we can say the applied voltage actually leads leads by high phase angle okay so instantaneous power can be obtained from here look how we can write i just write instantaneous power uh, as just capital p instantaneous power ip is equal to vi instantaneous current and voltage so this could be written as v0 sin omega t right and here i have i0 sin omega t minus phi right so this could be simplified a little bit v0 i0 look i am just writing down this Two, so I will get to sine omega t and sine omega t minus phi. So this I can write. So this is, you know, when you have two sine theta, two sine theta, or two sine a sine b, two sine a sine b. This gives you know what? This gives you cos a minus b minus cos c plus b so cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b so this is this actually gives this two sine a sine b okay so if we use that trigonometric identity here so this is say a okay so sign a minus b and a plus b all right so we can say from here v0 by v0 i0 by 2 so this 2 I will write i know a plus b right so not sign cos of a minus b first cos of a minus b and then minus of cos a plus b so you have to actually see here what is a and what is b okay so cos a minus b this gives suppose this is a and this whole term is b so cos of a minus b that means you get phi minus cos of a plus b cos of a plus b minus cos of a plus b means this is 2 omega t minus phi okay so you got this so we are here now so this is actually the expression for the instantaneous power right this is the expression for instantaneous power now what we can do we can just find out average power distribution okay per cycle average distribution of power this is instantaneous power then we are just going to calculate average power Dissipation 
this repression per cycle. Average power distribution per cycle. So how to do that? We have to take average of this. That means you know you have to take average v0 i0 by 2 then cos of phi minus cos of 2 omega t minus phi like this we will take the average okay so i think average sign i am not able to give here i'll just put this on top of this as bar in fact you know what it is See this V0, I0, these are constant, constant term, I can take them out. So I have two terms here, cos of phi, okay, minus of average cos of 2 omega t minus phi. This one it is. See here also I have to take average. See this average, see this is actually independent of time. This average what I am taking actually in uh, a full cycle. Full cycle is there is a, uh, the, if suppose see this cos phi, cos phi is not a function of time. So it, it remains as it is. This average is the same, cos phi. And this term, if we take the average, simply it will go to zero, right? It will go to zero. So average power, what we have got then? Average power, V0 I0 by two cos of phi. Cos of phi means what? Cos of phi means actually, this phi is the phase difference between current and voltage. And see what we can do, you know, this V0 by root two, I0 by root two into cos phi i0 by root 2 which is actually sorry v0 by root 2 is v rma okay i by root 2 is i rma into phi cos phi okay so we have got instantaneous power sorry average power dissipated average power dissipation power dissipated average power dissipated in AC circuit in AC circuit is given by There is this VRMS, IRMS, or this by 2 to cos phi. Average means cos phi only. Sorry. So this B0 by I0, I will write I RMS, RMS, sorry, B RMS. Okay, B0 by root 2 in, in this cos of phi. Okay. This cos phi, this particular term is actually known as uh, power factor. The term, you know, this term, see in the average power, average power, there are two terms, V R means V R means.
BRMS, IRMS, cos phi. So we have got the expression for this average or dissipation. So you know this average AC power is actually written as apparent power the apparent power or virtual power So apparent power into power factor is true power. Apparent power plus cost factor. Cost phi. Excuse me. So, what is apparent power and what is power factor? So, this is actually power factor. So, apparent power is V RMS, IRMS. These are called actually apparent. So, this product of V RMS and RMS is called the apparent power. And cos phi is called actually the power factor. Okay, so we have got <clears throat> the expression for the average power. But we will see few more things here. See. Oh, sorry. So what we have got, we will write it here. So we'll write BRMS, IRMS in cos phi. What is this cos phi? Okay, the cos phi is actually R by Z if you remember. Cos phi is R by Z. Omega C sorry Omega into L Omega into L minus one by Omega C whole square. This is R R by Z. So this is actually cos phi. Let us see when we use resonance condition. At resonance condition, resonance condition, the Z becomes actually R. Z become R. That means cos phi, which implies cos phi is one. Okay, cos phi is one, isn't it? So 
you can see that average power is VRMS and IRMS, which is actually maximum, which is maximum. Power dissipation actually maximum at this particular stage. Okay. And this is actually, see, since the power is only dissipated through resistor, power only, power is only dissipated, only dissipated only dissipated through resistor. Okay. So that's why the circuit is called, the circuit is called That's why this circuit is called purely resistive circuit. Purely resistive circuit. Okay, so th this the th few things are to be noted. So purely resistive circuit. And in case of purely resistive circuit, you know, cos phi is one. So the maximum power will be dissipated and that two wholly through the resistor. Okay. And see, in case of in case of see power dissipation in case of LC. L circuit, uh, LR circuit and CR circuit. We'll just see, we'll just keep, erase this part. We have seen in case of, at resonance condition, what happens. We have seen in case of LC circuit, but we'll see what happens in, in case of purely raised uh, capacitive circuit. Not purely, in case of, yeah, in case of purely a capacitive circuit also the same thing, purely capacitive, or purely inductive circuit. In case of purely inductive circuit and purely capacitive circuit. So power dissipated. Through purely inductive circuit see here you know the phi is 90 degree current voltage relationship if you see the phase difference between the current and voltage is phi sorry phi by 2 phi is equal to phi by 2 this is true for capacitive circuit also Capacitive circuit, in case of capacitive circuit also the same thing is being seen because current voltage relationship they have 90 degree. So phi is also 90 degree. Capacitive reactance. Okay, capacitive circuit or inductive circuit, you know, both cases phi is equal to 90 degree. And so from here, average power will be zero. That means through inductive circuit or capacitive circuit purely, they do not conduct in, uh, sorry, do not dissipate any power.
Okay, so what is else? Now we'll just go to the next point. What is choke coil in choke coil? So what is choke coil? Choke coil is an inductor with a very with very high inductance. Okay. The choke coil is an inductor coil actually with a very very high inductance. Why it is used? It is used to reduce the current in the AC circuit without significant loss in the energy. See, the, see what is the working principle of this choke coil? Generally, in case of tube light and all, this choke coil is being used. So what is the construction you can see? We can just take choke coil, we can just take a soft type, sorry, I'm sorry. We can take a take a soft iron core and then take thick laminated copper wire and just pour around it. Thick wire, okay, not thin wire here. So you get choke coil here. Okay, this can be used as choke coil. Okay, this is actually choke coil. But what is the principle? The principle is that that see this is this is you know this uh, choke coil is see choke coil itself is just purely inductive circuit and in that case pi is pi by two, isn't it? Current voltage relation simple uh, like that in, through the coil. For the coil inductor coil, we know the current actually lags behind. The voltage by 42, sorry, pi by 2 radians. Okay. So, what will be the average power loss then in this case? V RMS, I RMS, cost of pi. Okay, V RMS, I RMS into cost of pi. And see cos pi, again pi is equal to pi by uh, 2 or 90 degrees, hence this will be ultimately zero. That means very, very less power will be consumed by the, very, very less energy will be consumed by the inductor coil for its operation. And anyway, and if it is now connected to an appliance that is uh, expressing in terms of R and I, I. So this is actually some appliances, appliance. So this is actually appliance. So appliance will have certain amount of resistance side. So that, and the inductive reactance that will give you the effective resistance over here. What is the effective resistance? In in case of this, so this will be you know effective resistance will be reactance actually. This is impedance also called impedance. Impedance. So impedance is actually Z is equal to R by, I'm sorry, this square root of square root of R square plus omega square L square. 
see here since this l is very very large the impedance is actually large impedance is large is large since this l is there okay so as it is large the current through the circuit will be limited at the same time since cos phi phi cos phi is power factor is zero the power consumption will be almost negligible or zero itself okay so this is how a choke coil work okay a choke coil works on the principle that the current in the choke coil or inductor coil lags behind by the applied voltage like lag behind the applied voltage by pi by 2 phase difference so that principle we are using here in the check coil sorry choke coil okay so then the choke coil is done see the common ways of uh, like common use of choke coil is in the fluorescent tube with an ac mains if the tube is connected directly across 220 volt it would draw it would draw large current okay which would damage the tube with the use of a choke coil the voltage is reduced to an appreciable value to a principal value and without wasting any power choke coil in fact can be used in many other various electronic devices like marker lamp circuit uh, electronic circuit and then marker lamp sodium lamp etc in those places the choke coil is been used okay so this is about choke coil okay what less current i'll discuss a bit what less current what less current what is this what is current so we have seen in case of purely induct inductive circuit or capacitive circuit there is a phase difference between the current and voltage and that phase difference is written as cos phi okay so sorry the phi if this phi is such that the cos phi so in case of inductor circuit is capacitive capacitive circuit what we have seen that since this power factor is multiplied with the apparent power This is what I'm trying to say. Into cos phi. This is called power factor. This is actually apparent power.
So in case of capacitive circuit, this will be zero. Cap inductive circuit is zero. Cos phi is zero. So you know the effective reference power will be zero. That means apparent power and this is power factor. So in this circuit, purely inductive or purely resistive circuit, LR circuit, So, what I is trying to show you that in both cases, actually L R phase difference by two. Okay. Yes, this is fine with in that, uh, like appliances. Both cases phi is pi by two. Phi is pi by two. Then the average power should be zero. Since this average power is zero, that means there is no power dissipation at all to the purely capacitive and purely inductive circuit. So if that is the case, then the current through the circuit is called wattless current. Okay. So power factor in case of uh, purely inductive circuit or capacitive circuit is actually zero because this phi, this is actually phi for purely inductive circuit and purely capacitive circuit. So that's why purely inductive or purely capacitive circuit, they are actually, they are the current through that particular circuit is called wattless current, okay? See, I'll just quickly uh, give you some more things here, like energy, few things I'll just not discuss too little. I'll just give you the values and all. So energy, an average power associated with energy and average power associated with associated with a pure associated with a pure inductor pure inductor that will see in case see the energy which is stored in the inductor energy stored in the inductor stored in the inductor inductor is u is equal to half l i square half l i naught square that is the amplitude of the current So this is actually the energy stored in inductor. But what about capacitor? In case of capacitor, this will be 
you know, q square by 2c. So this is an average power through inductor coil is zero that we have already seen. Okay, average power is zero. But this half L I zero square, you should just remember that. So sometime do numerical problem. Okay. I'll stop it here for today. Next day we will take uh, questions from J advanced and main paper for from this uh, NC chapters. Actually, it's still what we have discussed. Uh, like uh, so far, we have discussed those topics only will be ta taking. And in the next class, that means in the next to next class we will discuss about transformer. Okay. So thank you for your presence. Bye for today.